Hi, Kevin here. Today is Saturday, September 12th, and earlier this morning, I stopped by our local farmer's market and picked up a whole lot of green bell peppers, and I'm going to freeze the peppers. Have a look. Yeah, so I have, I think, 20 bell peppers here, and they were not at all expensive because it's the end of the growing season, and I'm going to wash them thoroughly and then cut them up and as I said freeze them in this way I will have plenty of bell peppers to use for chili and meatloaf and pizza and spaghetti sauce and all kinds of things anyway I'm going to get these washed up and then I'll show you how I cut the peppers yeah I wash bell peppers the same way I wash carrots and other fairly hard-skinned produce and that is with a terry cloth dish rag and dishwashing soap and the reason I do that is because produce is generally handled quite a bit someone picks the produce from the field someone else boxes it someone else puts it on a shelf and so you want to make sure that your produce is squeaky clean and then I just give it a rinse with warmish water. Make sure you get all of the soap off. And then I put the peppers on a terry cloth towel to dry. All right, here are the peppers all washed and dried and I have them sitting on some terry towels. And before we cut them, I wanted to mention that uh, unlike green beans and carrots and most other vegetables, you do not have to blanch bell peppers. Also, the best bell peppers for freezing, in my experience, uh, are the green and the yellow ones. For some reason, their skins stay pretty good. With the orange and red bell peppers, once you freeze them, the uh, skin starts to peel away. Uh, that's not a big deal, but again, the best peppers, skin-wise, are the green and yellow ones for freezing. And here's how I cut mine. I go, take the knife and go down against the wall of the pepper. This way, I don't get seeds all over the place. I can also control pretty much how much of the uh, white, the bitter white membrane uh, stays attached, which is not much when you cut against the wall. And then the core of the pepper, I put in a bowl that's going to go into the compost. And my cut up peppers are going to go into another bowl. You can cut your peppers any way you like. If you're going to use them for stir fry, you could keep them in strips. If you're going to use them as I do, and let me finish cutting these up. If you're going to use them as I do, and that is like for spaghetti sauce and meatloaf and whatnot, then you might want to cut them into smallish pieces. Yeah, this is kind of time consuming, but it's certainly not difficult work. And it's a heck of a lot easier than canning produce. I much prefer to freeze. Okay, so then I just take a paring knife and cut the pepper into smallish pieces. Okay, and I'm going to finish these off and then I'll show you how I freeze the peppers. Okay, I've been at this for about 20 minutes and let me show you what I've done so far. Filled up about half of this very large bowl, but I still have many peppers to do, so maybe you can keep me company for just a moment. I wanted to tell you that we bought a General Electric frost-free upright freezer 
and we had to wait oh like six weeks for delivery but boy am I glad to have it so I'm trying to fill it up because a full freezer is an efficient freezer I also wanted to mention that freezing bell peppers is a very worthwhile job but it is also a very boring job. So I'm very happy to have your company. Yeah, my parents have an upright freezer. It is not frost free, but they have had it since, I'm not kidding, 1958. So that thing is over 60 years old. Now, I don't remember the make, but uh, I talked to my mother the other day and I asked her how often she defrosts it. Because I had read that you're supposed to defrost a manual defrost freezer once or twice a year. And she said, she laughed and she said, Kevin, I defrost the freezer when the ice is so thick that I can no longer fit anything in it. So that's my mother. And green peppers remind me of my mother because when I was a kid she used to make pizza a lot. And she never made just one pizza. She would do like six of them at a time and we would eat one for dinner and she would freeze the rest. They were deep dish pizzas that she did in nine by 13 uh, baking dishes. And boy, were those pizzas good. And they always had green peppers included in the topping. Okay, so we're getting there. And let me know if you have a freezer at home and if you're busy freezing produce. September seems the time of year that everybody's trying to put food by. Okay, I'm going to keep going and then I'll come back when we're ready to put these on a baking sheet and freeze them. This is what I have so far, just from 10 of the bell peppers. So I have a lot of cut up goods here. Now, here's how I freeze the peppers. Put them out onto a baking sheet. Let's see. And I'm doing it this way so that I can uh, keep the peppers from forming big clumps as they freeze. Let's pour them all on here. Okay, and then I'm going to put this in the freezer for about an hour, and then I'll come back and I'll break up the individual pieces. All right, so the bell peppers ended up freezing for two hours instead of just one because I had to run out. Anyway, what you want to do is loosen them up. transfer them to a freezer container and I love using or rather reusing salad containers. I also like these Rubbermaid containers that come with lids. So in they go. Yeah, so this was 10 bell peppers right here. And what's really nice about this is that these will stay loose. So when I'm making chili, and oh, I can't wait to um, show you one of my chili recipes. Anyway, when I'm making chili or whatever, I can just reach in and grab whatever I need. And super convenient.
There, that's perfect. A lot of green peppers. I'm going to put some in my salad containers, and then I have another 10 peppers that I cut up, which I will be freezing on this sheet. And there's no waste because all of the ribs and seeds are going to go in the compost bin. Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick peek inside the freezer. <clears throat> so here's the tray of peppers that I'm going to freeze for one hour before boxing up. And then here are the peppers that I put in their own containers. And here's some ground beef. I have three packages of this that I had sautéed and drained of all of the fat and then put in freezer bags. So if I want to make chili, I have the green peppers, I have the hamburger all ready to go. Oh, I wanted to tell you that bell peppers will stay fresh and wonderful in the freezer for at least six months. And as for the green peppers that I'm freezing now, well, I will use them, made a list, we use them in the chili, as I mentioned earlier, and in spaghetti sauce, and on pizza, and in meatloaf, and in lots of other things that I can't think of right now. So if you find yourself with a lot of bell peppers, maybe from your garden, maybe from the farmer's market, well, now you know how to freeze them. And thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.